applying the pressure there. Exactly. Now get him supple while you do that. There. So when you kick him, where does he go? Forward and out of the task, right? So you have no spurs on, so you have to kick him right now. But remember that you have to have, like, in corrective aids, it has to be within what you're, what you're trying to accomplish. You can't kick him with no rain contact or no sense of making him, like, if you're going to kick him, I want him to, like, spin on his hind legs like a reining horse. Yeah, that's not spinning on his hind legs. So put your leg at the girth, sit on your seat bone. He's got to turn his shoulders around. Because when you kick him like that, he just is allowed to get out of the exercise. Yes, so keep making him turn. Counter flex. Look at him. Good. And then straighten. Push him into the rain. Good. And then push him off your inside leg and open your inside rein. Keep your outside rein. Open your inside rein, more. I want him to actually bend the base of his neck. Watching Kendra ride him yesterday and he's very, um, my new favorite word, he's very bookish. He puts his head down and straight and nothing else. Yeah, he did not, he is not capable. He is capable. But he tries to convince you that he doesn't bend. Right, so open your rein more. I want his neck over and yeah, and keep him on the straight line. Nope, keep him on the line. So he has got, see how he's got to move off your leg to stay on the line? Instead of you just opening your rein. That's a better picture. Now change direction. Think what? about this as like his warm-up stretches. He's warming up the base of his neck to get a little softer in the bridle for you. Instead of just staying straight down and having to really work on him staying in front of your leg while your reins are not that good or not feeling like that good of a tool. Holy crap. That's just one freaking thing. I was just going to ask you what the purpose of this exercise was and then you answered it right before. Okay, so open your inside rein. Open, sit on your, what? Okay, so when I start to say stuff, I don't mind correcting things, but you know that pitching forward and letting your leg hit him in the flank isn't the position that we're looking to be in, right? Bend your elbow, but open your inside rein. Open your inside rein. Open your inside rein. If I say it three times, it's not open enough. You're pulling back. Yeah, you're pulling back like a big, big hard, direct rein. Open it. Open it. There, now we're talking. Now put your leg on so he doesn't just spin into it. Okay, but see how far his neck is away from you? You're allowing that by pitching yourself forward and throwing away your other rein. Sit back, put your inside leg on and open your inside rein while you're in a sitting position. There you go. 